Hey everyone, it's Hoochie from Nagios. In this video, I'm going to be doing a walkthrough of Nagios Network Analyzer. To give you a thorough overview, I'll go through each page in Network Analyzer or NA and talk about what you can do in each of them. This is the default homepage. The Network Analyzer dashboard is the default homepage and provides an overview of all your flow sources. The Pin Sources section is a general overview of the listed sources. It shows the source name, its status, traffic over the last 30 minutes, disk usage, data lifetime, and flow type. This gives you a quick look at the health and activity of each source. You also have the option of pinning them if they are an important source you want to keep tabs on. The Alert Summary section is where you can see a quick overview of any active alerts that have been triggered. It will show you the following information. Check name. This is the name of a specific check that triggered the alert. Status, which is the current status of the alert. Check message. A brief description of the problem that triggered the alert. And actions. If you click on Manage, it will bring you to the Alerts page. This section highlights any unusual activity detected by the monitoring system. For example, if a source is sending more traffic than usual, the monitoring system will flag it as abnormal behavior. A source is a device you've configured to send flow data to Network Analyzer, such as a router, switch, or server. The Sources page contains a general overview of all sources you've created and have view access for. You can click on a source to view more information about it, including a bandwidth graph and the top five talkers. You can also change the view to a different one if you'd like. Views let you keep network traffic data for longer than the original setting. There are also other tabs you can click on to view other things, such as the Reports tab, where you can either use a custom or saved report to generate different diagrams, the Queries tab, which you can use to run saved queries, and the Percentile Calculator tab, which you can use to calculate the bandwidth usage based on the NetFlow data collected. The Source Groups page allows you to see a full list of source groups in your system and group sources together for easier management. Source groups can consist of multiple sources and act like a single source. Creating one is easy. Click here, then choose a source group name and select the sources you want in that group. You have to select the sources, then click on the arrows to move them. When you're done, click Create Source Group. Source groups are a valuable tool for organizing your sources and making it easier to manage. For example, you could create a source group for all the sources in a particular location, or a source group for all of the sources that are critical to your business. By using source groups, you can organize your sources in a way that makes sense for you and your business. The Views page shows you a list of all your saved views. You can edit, delete, or run them for a selected source. Views allow you to retain the granular flow data for a longer period than what is defined on the source. Click on the Create View button to create a view and input the name, limiter, and data lifetime. Then hit Create, and your newly created view should be here. With the newly created view, you'll need to specify the sources that you want associated with the view. You can do that by clicking here. Choose from sources not associated and move them over to associated sources and click save. If you need to make a change to the associated sources, click here. If you click edit under actions, you'll be editing the view, not the associated sources. The reports page allows you to view and manage reports. Here are the default reports. If you'd like to make a custom report, you can do that by clicking here. To run a report, simply click on the Run button in the Actions column. Reports can be used to identify trends, analyze data, and make informed decisions about your network. For example, you could generate a report that gets data on a specific port or IP in the past month. The Queries page allows you to create and execute queries against your network flow data. A query will search your network flow data and return a subset of that data that matches the criteria you specified. For example, you could create a query to find all traffic that was sent to a specific IP address or all traffic that used a specific port. Here's a list of all saved queries with their description. On the right side, you can run, edit, or delete them. The two default queries that come with NA are common botnets. This aggregates the most common IP addresses for botnets. P2P traffic. This aggregates some common P2P traffic ports. You can use queries to investigate a wide range of network activity. For example, you could use queries to identify security threats, troubleshoot network problems, and monitor network usage. The alerting page allows you to view and manage all the alerts that have been created. Alerts can be created for a variety of reasons. 
There are multiple alerting methods available in Network Analyzer. There are four tabs on your alerting page, checks, Nagio setup, SNMP receivers, and commands. Checks are how alerts are triggered. Nagio setup is a feature that can be used when you integrate NA and XI. SNMP receivers is where SNMP traps can be sent to other applications after being configured. And the last tab is for executing a command as an alerting method. This can be a binary command or your own custom script. The route page allows you to set up points of interest in your network, called nodes, and run ping and traceroute commands on a routine interval. This data is then presented to you as a network map on the route section of the NA interface or can be integrated with NA's alerting features. On the screen, you will be presented with a series of circles and arrows. The circles represent nodes, and the arrows represent the paths by which you are monitoring those nodes. The color of the nodes indicate the reachability. Gray nodes haven't been checked yet, green nodes are currently reachable, and red nodes are currently unreachable. The help page is the perfect place to start if you don't know anything about Network Analyzer. If you follow these instructions, you can get NA up and running. Besides getting started, there are some helpful links on the left-hand side if you'd like to learn more about NA. Last but not least is the administration page. You're greeted with a system dashboard that shows you the stats of your server. On the left-hand side, there are more admin settings. Here you can change the default global settings. If you don't want to manually update your NA server, you can do it through here after checking for updates. Here is where you can create other users or import them from LDAP AD. Before you can import users from LDAP AD, you need to define the authentication server that NA will use. That can all be done on this page. This is also where you can add certificates. Here you can update your license key if needed. This last tab is where you can manage your NA backups. Here you can create, download, and delete a backup. And there you go. That's the walkthrough page by page of Network Analyzer. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and if you did, leave a like and subscribe. For any further questions and assistance, visit support.nagios.com. And until next time, take care and keep monitoring.